wild thing. Bum, 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 bum. You make my heart sing. Dun, 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 dun. You make everything groovy. Mm -mm. Wild thing. Wild thing. I think I love you. But I want to know for sure. Come on. Hold me tight. I love you. Wild thing. Mm -mm, bum, bum, bum. You make my heart sing. Ba -na -na, uh, uh. You make everything groovy. Uh-huh. Wild thing. All right, that's enough, right? Guess what? It's Wild Wednesday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Bella's Bargains. My name is Amy, and you have landed on Wild Wednesday, which is really bizarre because hopefully I get this up on Wednesday since my internet completely yesterday, and Tuesday's video actually came out Wednesday morning. So maybe it's a two for day. You might get two videos in one day because of my internet. The new internet is on the way though, you guys. Please have faith, it's on the way. I'm waiting for the modem and then hopefully that's all gonna work better. Okay, you guys, so you've landed on Wild Wednesday. Listen, if this is your first time stopping by, there's a few things you should know. First of all, this channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. I wish dollars grew on trees. Hmm, ponder that. But it's a Dollar Tree channel and that means everything on this channel is Dollar Tree. I do Dollar Tree hauls, food reviews, I do Dollar Tree crafts. All of my supplies come from the Dollar Tree, so you don't have to run here, there, or what, if you want to make one of the DIYs, crafts, upscales that I make. All right, you know why though? Because at the Dollar Tree, everything is a dollar, people, a dollar. So, Wild Thing, Sharon, by the way, there, I sang Wild Thing on Wild Wednesday. I actually used the song on the right day. Are you proud of me? I hope so. All right, um, so that was Sharon. She had suggested Wild Thing, and then the other day I sang one of the other Wild songs, and so she's like, no, that was for Wild Wednesday. Duh, I have my moments. All right, subscriber challenge. I hope you guys watched that yesterday or today. See, now this is gonna be totally confusing from now on. I mean, today, not from now on, just today. Because yesterday's video didn't get up, even though it was done. You guys, it was done. I had it all done. It just would not upload. But um, all the subscriber challenge photos were on there, except for one. My friend texted me hers, and so I missed it. So it's on this one, so it's on today. But that was so much fun to see what everybody did. Hold on, I have to make a note. I love making notes while I'm talking to you, but it's the only way I remember. Um, the subscriber challenge was so fun. You guys were so creative. That was just a blast to watch and to see. And so we've got another challenge. And this month, though, we're just doing a phrase and you can create whatever you want because of course the thing is with Dollar Tree, sometimes it's hard to find the supply that you need to make, you know, like I said, the truck and some people couldn't find a truck. Oh my gosh, who built her own truck? Now I can't remember. It was amazing. Um, okay, but, so we're not gonna do that. It's just a theme. And this, the, the theme for this one is back to school. Make a craft that makes you think of back to school. Um, and then we'll, we have all month, I should have looked at a calendar, but it would basically would be the last Saturday of the month is the deadline for getting me your pictures via face mail. Please via face mail, face time, face, face. This is face mail, <laughs> Facebook. I have a Facebook page, it's linked down below and you can go on there and then through Messenger, you can send me your photos and also give me a brief description so I know, you know, what the meaning was behind what you did. I love that most of you did and it was great, you know, just to like, the person that did a blue truck, her dad drove a blue truck and picked up junk and it was a, it was an antique truck. It was so cute with the doll furniture in the back or the one that her brother drove a green truck. Um, so it was an homage of him or the life, the lifeguard one, which is beautiful. Just the fall ones. They were all great. They were all wonderful. Or her son was getting married. So she did the let's get married one, which I really thought about doing. Glad I didn't because there would have been two of them because hers came out so adorable. Would have been hard to beat. Anyway, it was really, really fun. So this theme is back to school. All right. So you guys just let's do that back to school. All right. Today is wild Wednesday, which means you're going to get something wild. Just what you don't expect. Right. Okay. So. I went shopping with Bargain Mama like a couple weeks ago. Remember we did that joint video where we went and did a haul. Well, we did a challenge and we've never we've never shown you guys the challenge. So today we're gonna show you the challenge.
Now what we did was we drew names, drew words, and then we went into the store and we didn't have any rules or anything. So I interpreted my challenge words one way. I have no idea how she did hers. You will have to go to her channel and see, it's linked down below, and see how Amy, her name is also Amy, did her challenge. I think we are gonna be the Arizona A's, Arizona Amy's, um, and we still haven't decided. And we will be doing this at least once a month, if not more, and it may just be that we take an entire Saturday and we do stuff and then we break it into a couple of videos because we had so much fun together and I think we're hysterical together. I think you guys really like our videos together. Let me know, please let me know. If you like our videos together right now, give me AA down below in the comments right now. So, um, cause we just have a blast. It's so much fun. So my challenge was I drew out these words and um, I'm gonna show you that video when I'm done here. And then I made a gift basket, so you're gonna see that. Let's see, what else are you gonna see on this video today is, oh my gosh, the Disney stuff, the Disney cups are done. So I'm just gonna show you an overview of all of the cups, but I'm gonna go through really quickly. Everybody got their own cup with their name on it, Bella. Now, I initially hauled these cups for everybody. In the end, I went back and I was like, no, I should just get a different cup for everybody. It'd be easier than trying to find the name on the cup. So I did that, so they all have different cups. We all got um, a reusable straw because they only use paper straws in Disney. And so I have more than one for everybody. I know those kids are gonna throw them away. Um, inside of our cups, most everybody got some sort of mask. Sorry, I'm gonna put the cup down. Um, and a lanyard. So uh, we all have more than one mask, but I was giving everybody at least one mask in their cup. So mask with a lanyard, see how that works? I love this, but I put gave myself one with the matching. Um, scrunchy okay so in the cup there was a mask or a mask lanyard at the very least for the adult males i don't think i did that and then they get the cup they get their reusable straw and the cup is to stay in the hotel room because there's never enough cups in a hotel room and then you know everybody wants water during the night or something like that then we all got a lanyard and it has a character on it put on with a hair tie because we always need hair ties am i not when you're, you're somewhere and somebody needs a hair tie, it's not even necessarily for hair. This is like a rubber band of some sort. I don't even know. Anyway, um, inside here is a rain poncho. This is a chili willy. So the chili, these chili willies are just on here just to put in the cup. Like the, they'll probably just have these around their neck or on them somehow during the day through a belt loop. I don't care. You're going to need this. So, and that's in there. And then, um, I haven't yet done it. Oh, and there's also, sorry. Everybody gets a lip balm because when you change weather and you go into a different region, you always get chapped lips. So I gave everybody a lip balm. They're not actually in their cups because they have to choose the one that they want. I already chose mine. So mine's in there. But they have to choose when we get when they get to the hotel. So um, I'm putting these. We get there. My guy and I get there first. So we're going to go in and have these in there for everybody so they all get their own cup. So I'll show you a video of all those cups. But before I do that, I wanna to explain to you something about Chili Willies. This is a Chili Willy. So if you buy these at the Dollar Tree, where is, they come in, they come in these, right? And they say Chili Willy on them. The thing is you guys, you have to open them up and get them wet before you take them anywhere because you have to put them in warm water to open them up, to like to get them to work. So FYI, you can't just take it with you and open it up and use it. It won't work. It rips if you try to tear it apart. I know this from the very first time I did it. So I had to open up all of these and I um, I got them, put them in warm water, open them up and then stretch them all out. Now I'm just gonna show you, they, they're, they're kind of like crunchy, but I need to roll them up. So I just like run them on the counter and see how it sort of straightens it up. So, and then I just roll them up. So I left, the, I haven't rolled this one up yet, just so I could show you guys. See that? Okay, so FYI, if you're gonna do chili willies, that's what you need to do. All right, let's see. Also on this video, I did a gift for a birthday party on Saturday. And um, so I just did a little video of it because I wanted to show you guys like a great way to do some Dollar Tree gifts. I have a Dollar Tree, um, container box, a uh, tote full of Dollar Tree stuff that I've bought for gifts. So um, what I did was I took, I bought, I pulled out four items. I'll show you in the video. And then I wrote a card that made all the items work 
even though they had nothing to do with each other and the entire gift cost me four dollars and a little bit of imagination and a card that was it and it was a great gift they texted me the next day and said wow what a thoughtful gift that was so perfect blah blah, blah. so let me explain he was turning 46 so i said and he just got married they're the ones i just did their wedding and so basically my card said, you know, you're getting ready to embark on the last half of your forties and you're brand new, you know, you just got married. So let's talk about the, I have it right here. A brand new, it may be time to embrace some tried and true philosophies of life. And so then I did four philosophies of life and then something to go with it. So the first one was embrace, you know, take time to be grateful for the little things and otherwise enjoy those Kodak moments. And there was this great book, you'll see. And then the next one I said, it's right here, what I say. I said, a perfect marriage is just two imperfect people who refuse to give up on each other. Then I gave him a book called Mar Marriage Marriageology, which I bought at the Dollar Tree. All these came from the Dollar Tree. And then number three was, we don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. So I gave him a little desktop game, which was bag toss, which was actually a tournament at his birthday party. And then the fourth one was, it said, the kitchen is the heart of the home. And I gave him a, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, pot holders, and... Mitten, mitt, pot holders and a mitt, a mitt, oven mitt. Great gift, $4 from the Dollar Tree. All right, what else are you gonna see on this video? Oh yeah, <laughs> Esther, I got her done. All right, now this is the first time ever that I've required my guy to help me with something, but he came home from work and I took video of his hands just so you could see that. When he came home from work, I needed him to do something, so I'm actually using screws in this that didn't come from the Dollar Tree. I could have run and got them, but we have a ton of screws at home, so I didn't need to. So Esther asked for a pool sign with solar lights on it and the large closed plastic clothespins to hang towels. I think I came through, Esther. You're going to have to let me know what you think. And by the way, Esther, if you want to pay for shipping, I would, I'm would. i pretty sure I'd ship this out to you. So are you ready? Are you ready? I'm actually really proud of myself, and it took a lot. Like it, this was, This took a lot of thought. Boop -ba -da -doo. You guys, these are solar lights. Is it, you can't tell that it's on, but it is on. Well, yeah. Anyway, they're solar lights made out of the cups. This, you'll see what it's all made of, but my guy had to screw these in here. I did reinforce it on the back so that it could get hung up on a wall. I didn't put anything on there because after, if you want me to send it to you, like you might just want to screw it onto the wall or put brackets on. I wasn't sure, so I didn't. Um, and look, this is, these are the big, you know, the big clothespins. This pool was a hanging sign that I found last year after season, which I picked up for some reason. I'm glad I did. This was left over from something that I did, I think for the sipping and chilling challenge. I'm not sure. And then these are their disposable cups. I got a solar inside of them. But this is, I'm gonna show you what this is. I have one in my kitchen. It's the over-the-counter towel racks. So I took it apart, flipped it upside down, zip-tied our solar light on there, and put the pool noodle on there so that I could slip that in, in there. Um, I think it's ingenious. And I think it looks really cute. Oh, okay, you guys. Give me some pool toy right now if you are not thinking that this is super cool. I did exactly what you wanted, Esther. You said you wanted solar lights, you wanted a pool sign, and you wanted these clothespins to hang towels. I mean, I hope I did exactly what you want. Please let me know. So, Esther, I would absolutely send that off to you if you would like it. I'm still holding this. I think I should put that back. All right, I think that's everything that's on here. Let's double check. Um, pool sign, Disney hotel stuff, my gift idea, the Bargain Mama Challenge. And so, oh, so for the Bargain Mama Challenge, which I'm going to show you a picture of. Anyway, this was the basket that I came up with. You'll see why in when you watch this video. So hopefully this all gets up on Wild Wednesdays here. <claps> Booyah! And hopefully tomorrow I'm not going to have any problem getting up Thursdays. I'm trying to get all these videos done so you have content while I'm gone. It may not happen at this point. Um, who knows? I'm like, I'm waiting for the new modem, but you know what's going to happen. It's not going to show up until I'm gone, right? I'm going to have to have somebody checking my front porch while I'm gone because I'm pretty sure it's gonna show up while I'm gone. They sent me an email two days ago that said, oh, little little delay on it, so I know it's gonna show up while I'm gone. Oh, I forgot to say, hey Dawn, you sent me all that stuff in um, my happy mail. Thank you so much, because I sent out thank yous yesterday to Jackie and Kathy. Dawn, I need your address. I accidentally threw away the box that had it on there, so I need that again. If you can 
send that to me. But Dawn, this is the tissue paper that me, you sent me and I used it in here. So thank you so much. I'm like, I love it when, I mean, that was just so sweet. And I'm hoping to use the other part of the tissue paper in a Remembrance DIY today. If all goes well, tomorrow's Remembrance DIYs. No guarantees. No guarantees, I'm so sorry. Do you guys like my rock and roll shirt? It was Wild Wednesday, so I thought I'd get a little wild. Wild thing, I think I love you. Ba -na -na -na. I wanna know for sure. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, tomorrow, Disney, another Disney shirt too. I think it's the last one of the Disney cut em up, tie em up shirts that I did. All right, guys, so thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I think I'll come back and say goodbye. How about that? Okay, all right, so we're back and now we are gonna draw. We went to lunch, which you've already seen because you guys met Kara, our yeah. nice little server. So now we're gonna randomly draw words out of the pan that Amy has in her car. Because who doesn't? Who doesn't have um, a pie pan, whatever, in their car, right? It's not from the Dollar Tree, so I certainly wouldn't. <laughs> I'm just gonna say. Anyway, we're gonna draw these things out and we're gonna like have these words and then we're gonna go in and our challenge is to buy stuff that I'm being FaceTimed by my I was granddaughter. Like, Spot, someone, I don't know if mm -hmm. you want to say her name. She's FaceTiming us. Yeah, it's what do okay, you got? I got Jot. Okay, I just grabbed one too. I got Car. Car. Mm hmm. Okay. And we can relate these however we want, guys. Yeah, we just have to justify what we bought related to the word. What do you got? Olive. Oh. That's fine. I gave her ideas on that one. I know, she did. <laughs> she said it could be a color. And I was like, yeah, don't talk. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I do a lot of, I don't Water, I got water. water. Yes. Oh, could I'm going to kill it. Could, that could be lots of things. Boy. Wait, am I going to find a boy in the Dollar Tree? <laughs> Listen, I have bought a lot of we things at man. the Dollar Tree. Because <laughs> then, no. <laughs> I've bought a lot of things at the Dollar Tree. But Arizona. 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 Where we're from. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Arizona's guys. good. You don't even know. I'm we killing it are, with mine. Yeah. This is not fair. I feel like mine are garden. Oh yeah. Garden. Guys, I'm telling Maybe you. Maybe I could find a boy in the garden. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm telling you. What is this one? Red. Red. See, that's a good one. I know. I'm, all like, mine have been great. I feel like you. Yeah. You definitely I got, got the, the short, short end. end of the stick. Yeah. Or the boy. We're not sure. Um, okay, well, mine the, says the boy stick, the boy I mean. stick. Girl, I got boy and girl. <laughs> She's her suck. What the hell? I, she, I should have given her the option to um, trade. You know, no. Um, what am I thinking? Like when you're buy a vowel? Poster, you know, any of the above. <laughs> you know, split the deck. She should have. I should have split given the her deck. the shake option. Yeah. What do I got? No, here? it's fine. Makeup. Um, Whoa. I think we're out, aren't we? Are we out? No, there's still there's more. Still I more? think. Oh, there's two more. Ones. There's two more. I think so. We each get one more. Okay. Great. What's it gonna be? Trans. It's, it's gonna be a bad one. I'm gonna, gonna get be boy, girl, one. and trans. That's yeah, be perfect. Get... So I would like just finish the complete the whole circle. Empty. Oh, hair. Ah! And I got something hair. that starts with A. Starts with A. Oh, our acronym. We haven't come up with our acronym. What do you think of Arizona Amy's? Ooh. And we could be just AZAs. Yeah. Which would be Azas. Yeah. I'm like. Oh. So many. I like Arizona. We be Azas. But Arizona like, A's. Well, that's like a, might that's say actually that a team, isn't else. it? Yeah. I, I like it though. But unless somebody mm. doesn't like us and they change the letters a little bit or the pronunciation right. of the letters. Right. That's why I said we're Azas. Azas. How about you guys name us? Yes. Yeah, somebody said triple A's. Yes. That would be my guy. Um. What was the other one? A team. A team. The A team. Um. I pity the fool. The one. You <laughs> she did not. <laughs> what was the one you just said? I did like it. What was Arizona it? A's. Arizona A's. Okay, well, you guys name us yeah. because we're gonna we, we're probably gonna do this like monthly. We're gonna get together, go shopping, and we'll do little challenges. And then what we'll do, we'll throw it out there. They can give us they challenges. They can give us the challenges, which would be really and fun. And then they can vote who wins because right. I'm very competitive. I'm not. I don't have to be because I always win. See, I knew something was coming. I knew something like that was coming. I knew it, guys. I knew it. All right, now we're going to go in and we're going to fulfill our little cards and see what we come out with. Yes. So, and then what we're going to do is we'll both go into our own cars and explain our challenge. And then you can go to the other one's channel to see how they did their challenge. All right? Yes. Sound good. So, we'll see you back. Bye. Bye, guys. Okay, so from what I drew, I went into the Dollar Tree 
and I picked up these items and I decided to make a gift basket that was good for either a little girl or a little boy with one caveat and that is they should probably be a soccer player. All right, so what did I get? I walked in and I had drawn boy, I'm sorry, I would drawn girl, let me show you those. I drew girl and I drew boy and I drew hair. Those were three things I drew. So I walked up and I saw this and I was like, oh, perfect. It's good for a boy, it's good for a girl, and you can put it in your hair. Because it can be like a mask, it could be a bandana thing like I have on, it could be, you know, a twirly in your, in your ponytail. So it works for either a girl or a boy, but there's little soccer balls on it. So I went with it, all right, okay. So that was the, like the first thing I saw and I got three of my drawn things were taken care of. Well, then I also had garden. And so I walk into the garden area and I'm like, what the heck do you get for garden? I've already committed to doing something for a girl and a boy that's soccer themed. Well, they had baskets. So I was like, okay, this is from the garden section, floral garden, garden section. And I had drawn garden, and olive, two for. So now I've picked up two items. This one covered three, this one covered two, and I only had one more of my drawn things that I had to use, and that was jot. And so I found this, and I thought super inspirational for somebody playing soccer. So then I like, well, I'm just gonna finish up a cute little basket for soccer, and I used all of my challenge words and so I went ahead and I found, actually, Amy found these for me. Bella's Bargains found these. But there were soccer balls on there. So I was like, that's perfect to add in there. And then I just decided to throw some things in that were like, um, you know, like snacky foods for kids. Like, so a monster, a pickle, some meat, a meat stick, some snack foodie things. And then also I picked up the little bracelet things because I don't know why. I thought they would go in there. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> That's what I got. All right, so now let me show you the basket that I made with it. Super cute. I loved the challenge. So um, I don't know what Amy did with hers. You're going to have to go look on her, um, on her channel to see. I have no idea what Bargain Mama did. So you have to go look. But this is what I decided to do. Anyway, it was fun. I just wanted to show you guys this birthday present that I'm giving and explain to you how you can do a really good pre cool present for somebody from stuff from the Dollar Tree. All right, so, but you have to hear the card. It says, happy birthday. This is to a friend of ours that's turning 46. It says, as you embark on the second half of your 40s and a brand new marriage, because you just got married, I did their wedding, it may be time to embrace some tried and true philosophies of life. Number one, Enjoy and be grateful for the little things. In other words, notice those Kodak moments. So this is for number one, which is this really cool book that I bought at the Dollar Tree called The Perfect Moment. And it's about a guy who this book is like helps you stop and be grateful for the little things. There's a little bit of journaling in it and whatnot. And originally it was $9.99 and I got it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. All right. So number one, I said, enjoy and be grateful for the little things. In other words, notice those Kodak moments. So this book. Number two is make sure your wife stays your best friend. Take time to always be working on your relationship. The quote is, a perfect marriage is just two imperfect people who refuse to give up on each other. So there's this book, which is called Marriageology. Also from the Dollar Tree. And originally it was $26. And it's a book, The Art and Science of Staying Together. So, perfect there. Now we're going to his birthday and they're having a bag toss tournament, all right? So this is ties in with that. But then on number three, I said, never stop being playful. Anywhere, anytime is good for playing. It keeps us laughing and smiling. And the quote is, we don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. And the final thing that I'm giving him 
is this set of an oven mitt and pot holders that say, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Also a very good saying. But number four is, this may be the most important. Make time to be in the kitchen. It is where we gather to eat and nourish both our bodies and our souls. The quote is, the kitchen is the heart of the home. All right, you guys, so for $4 and some clever writing on a card, I'm giving a very meaningful gift. And two of these, of course, were far more than a dollar at retail price. So this is 26 and this was, and I say it was nine. So that's like 35, 9.99. So $36 just right here. Anyway, I just thought you guys might appreciate that. So that's a gift that I made from my gift stash from the Dollar Tree. And it's gonna be really great with the card. this is a request from one of the subscribers and I am going to make a pool sign that will hold towels that has some solar lights in it. So I'm going to use two of their summer cups, two solar lights. I have two packages of the plastic clothespins. I have two because I only want to use the white. I have this sign. It was a hanging sign that says pool that I actually found after season last year. It's been in my stash. Um, one of the over-the-counter, over-the-cabinet towel racks. So normally this goes on a cabinet and you, for hanging towels, dish towels. These are two leftover parts from, I believe I took um, some galvanized houses off of these. And so... Obviously, keep the bases to use. Two packages of wood rulers, a pool noodle, possibly. Not sure about that yet. And one of the new fall signs. These are amazing. They just have this cut out of them, but that's going to be cut out. So I'm going to reinforce this with two pieces of wood on the back side here so that it can be hung on a wall. And then I'm going to reinforce on the back side with some rulers so I can put screws through. And I'm gonna wood glue those down. That's gonna have to sit, so let's get that. I started by putting the reinforced wood on the back. So I'm using wood glue, but also some hot glue. I ended up trimming off the ends of the rulers that were on the bottom there. I don't think I put that on video. At first, I thought the pool noodle was going to go there, and it didn't. This project had a lot of I thoughts, and then, nope, not that. Um, so now I'm making the solar lights, and I just took, these are plastic cups that had lids in them. They sold their, in their summer stuff this year. I think they came two packs. They have been four packs even. And just by cutting out the center part on them, the solar light fit in there absolutely perfectly. So I'm thinking I'm going to make more of these for my backyard because it's so easy. And then I'm just, I pulled apart that over the door towel hanger thing, or over the cabinet door. I just made it, took it into two pieces and zip tied the cup onto that. Then I thought I was gonna attach it here. And the, these are the strips that came off the ruler, which by the way, for a little Mod Podge, you get all the glue off of them. Really good to know, great for your stash. And I mix up my, my cement stuff and I try to cement it on there. I get this one to stay. And then I went to the other side, tried to get that one to stay, it didn't. So that, that ends up coming off. But right now I'm outlining the outside of the wood um, pool word. I glued down that extra little sign piece to cover the pumpkin hole on the one side. Now I just took a little triangle out of this pool noodle so I could glue it on the ledge of the sign. And then I reinforced with some more glue in the back. Look at that. Now, the, now I have my guy come in and screw on the clips and then I glued down the pool and it was done. I think it came out so cute. Esther, I hope you love this.
Okay, so I'm going to have to pay extra special attention to Nancy's trucks here. First of all, Nancy did four trucks, and she found both the designs of these trucks, the one with the rails on the back and the one without. So I love this. She took us through Easter, and she made one for the 4th of July. Those, What do those look like in the back of that truck, Nancy? Mm. Then she did a pumpkin patch, and then she does Christmas. These are so adorable. Such a great job. I mean, Nancy, you went all out. Absolutely love these. I think you could sell them at a craft fair. Too cute. So sorry I left you out yesterday, Nancy. But thank you for being part of the challenge. I just feel like that was such a hodgepodge, wasn't it? But it is Wild Wednesday. Did you guys like that? Tell me what your favorite thing was. Um, I had, I've had so much fun actually doing these fun. It was so much fun to go with Bargain. Mama, Amy, Arizona A's, we're gonna hit it again. When I get back from Disney, we're gonna go do some stuff. So I need some challenge ideas. You guys send us some challenge ideas. Don't forget to go over and check out her channel. Tell her that you're over there. I know quite a few of you went over last time we put one up. So super excited about that. And I will see you back here tomorrow for Theme Thursday. Everybody have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, find your singing crafty crafter. Happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Bye, guys.